Hey, what's up guys, Madar Truga Development. In this video, I'm switching what used to be a coat closet into a pantry closet with built-in shelves. In fact, it's right here behind me. Cool thing about this setup is I'm utilizing the corner inside of the closet and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let me switch the camera and I'll walk you through it. Okay guys, so the first thing you wanna do is plan your setup. In my case, this right side is going to be my shelving unit it's going to be three shelves here and the left side is more vertical space and i might add a couple of hooks there the next thing you want to do is locate where your studs are because that's what you're going to use to um, support your whole setup so obviously there's always a, a stud in the corner there and then you have your one by threes uh, ripped and uh, those will form your cleats and that's going to support your shelves. The dividing panel is gonna be a one by board that I'm going to drill or nail into those cleats for support. My return uh, shelves here are gonna be supported by this piece and also another small piece that I'm going to throw in here as well because I do wanna use the entire space. As far as the dividing panel, like I said, that's a one by board probably gonna notch that here and uh, notch it down here around the baseboard as well. And then I'm going to caulk and pretty it up. I wanted to show you quickly how I'm putting those cleats up since I work by myself. I screw in the one end and I hold the cleat with the level on top to make sure that it is level before I screw in the other end. Next. I put in my return cleats just like I did up top. Next, I take my measurements to notch the board and uh, make those cuts. Okay, so so far this project has been uh, pretty much straightforward. Uh, you're putting the cleats and then you, uh, you're leveling them, drilling them on. Uh, these two pieces are probably the most exciting part of this project. <clears throat> this is probably one of the reasons I made this video. One is I want to show you how I do the corner uh, shelves, which you could probably figure out just from looking at this, but we'll do one together and that will be my corner uh, shelf. And this is my divider. It's an OSB board. I cut to length and we're going to notch it up here uh, three and a half inches uh, for the cleat that's on the wall and then five and a quarter uh, for the baseboard uh, trim. I'm gonna use a handsaw. All right, I got my notch here. Of course, I did end up getting my oscillating tool just to clean the corners a little bit. Uh, this is a sample of the baseboard that I have in, installed in the closet. And so I'm just basically gonna trace it. So, plug that in. That's our profile. I'm gonna go over a little bit, again, just so we can fit nicely. And then when you caulk everything around it, it's gonna look perfect. So it's okay to come out a little bit um, just to make sure that this fits nice and easy. With this one, I'm gonna use my coping saw. I got my profile all cut out. Use 150 grit uh, paper just to smooth everything out. Of course, all this will be painted, so like the case with any surface that you're about to paint, or you will paint, you wanna make sure that all the edges are nice and smooth. Okay guys, on to the corner shelves. So, uh, you guessed it, you know, obviously uh, you need a couple of pocket screws to go into that corner. So this is upside down, and what we wanna do is tie these guys right into the main shelf uh, to give us that corner. Of course, if you don't have, I use a uh, Craig jig. I have this bad boy right here. Um, th this thing is a, is, is a game changer, really. Uh, I'm not gonna go through uh, the process of it because that's not what this video is about. But if you don't have one, you could probably figure this out. Just kinda uh, drill down and then come in at an angle. 
this basically makes the job much easier and faster and cleaner and looks a lot more professional. You can look at a chart on what size screws to use for what size thickness you have. This is three quarter stuff and it is recommended to use a one and a quarter inch screw just like this one. And all I'm doing is I'm just gonna go drive these bad boys right here to tighten this up. All right, this clamp is also pretty handy when it comes to this. Make sure this is flush. And then as you drive this in, you wanna make sure that you hold the two pieces together. And there you go. That's another corner shelf done. Again, I'm taking the 150 grit and I'm smoothing everything out because we are gonna paint this shelf. So don't skip this step, you will regret it. Okay, so I mounted the panel right up here and I ended up shimming it up top there. You wanna make sure that you are plumb your notch has to be nice and tight. You wanna stay tight as much as possible. And if you have any gaps, you wanna shim. Down here, we look pretty tight too. So we're pretty much ready to pre-drill and screw the panel onto the cleats to support it. I'm using uh, 158 fine thread screws. I'm also going to add return cleats on this side for added support. Once I drill or pre-drill, I'm also going to countersink my drill holes. That way everything is nice and flush. Now we're ready to screw it in. I went ahead and screwed the panel in all three spots and I added my returns and now I'm gonna do this one. I pre-drilled and countersunk these returns. I'm making sure here that it's flush before I go ahead and pre-drill again. I'm gonna drive these with one and one eighth inch screws. Make sure it's level before you proceed. Here I have the shelves all uh, put in and everything is nice and smooth. This is the return here. So I captured all the space that I can get. Underneath here are your pocket holes. Next is paint. All right guys, here is the finished uh, project. I uh, painted everything, two coats of paint, semi-gloss, and uh, in between the uh, coats of paint, I sanded down uh, to get a smoother finish. Um, yeah, once you paint anything, it's going to be a little bit rough. So just get some sandpaper on there and hand sand everything. And it'll be a lot smoother to the touch. Uh, so I like how everything came out. I am very pleased with it. I um, touched up all the uh, screw holes. Uh, basically what I did with that is uh, just applied some... Uh, spackle and then sanded everything down if you remember we had the pocket holes in there i still got a caulk right down there a little bit just uh you know even though this is all going to be inside a closet door and you're not going to see it but it's my work and you know how that goes you're always going to be thinking about it okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up to support the channel and subscribe if you haven't also, if you're into real estate and want to learn about how to get into property flipping and real estate investments, make sure you check out my real estate playlist. See you guys on the next one.